I think my favorite memory of Deep Impact is when we were doing the encounter, the, the final 24 hours of the mission, uh, we were in the Mission Control Center out of JPL. And Larry Murphy was the RF engineer in charge of the uh, Impactor spacecraft. And his job was to manage the contact between the Impactor and the flyby spacecraft all the way as the Impactor went into the comet. And Larry Murphy was the man who was first to announce we had lost contact with the Impactor spacecraft, which was the first indication that we'd actually been successful on the hit. And it was just such an incredible feeling when you know, Larry sat back and said, we've lost communication with the Impactor. And the media in the room went, oh my God, is that bad? And everybody else was like, yes, that's outstanding. For me, the, the biggest success was this was something that had never been done before. Nobody had any idea how to do this, what we were going to find. There was no manual that we were following. It was totally brand new technology that we were developing. And it was a success the very first time. Well, I think from the media attention that we received, it was a, a big shot up for Ball as far as recognition in the NASA community. I mean, here was something that JPL described as one of the most challenging robotic missions of all time and Ball Aerospace had done the entire mission. It was a huge visibility factor for us.